Transfigured on the Mount of Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. My brothers and sisters, today, the Sunday of Orthodoxy, we celebrate something very special in our church. We celebrate much more than just bringing icons into the church. We celebrate the truth of God. We celebrate, as we say in the Orthodox tradition, correct belief, orthodoxia, and the correct worship of God. Correct belief because, my brothers and sisters, God came and became a human being to save us. And we know this is true because others have seen him like Philip and Nathaniel in this morning's gospel, the holy apostles, and hundreds of others saw with their own eyes the real Christ, the true God, who became a human being to save us and to unite us to himself. And so we celebrate today the truth of that belief. And we also celebrate as I say, the true worship of God. Because when we come into the church, we don't come into church just to think about God or just to hear about God. We come into the church to physically commune with God. And that's the truth. And we need to start living that truth. Today we're going to have a beautiful celebration. We're going to have a procession with the holy icons. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. And we're going to sing beautiful hymns. But do we have the truth inside of us for us to live not just during the procession, but to live every day carrying the icon of Christ? We are the icon of Christ. And me sin in your Christ. Do we live it? We're going to carry our icons and show them to the world today. Do we show ourselves to the world as Christ? Or do we show ourselves to the world in our own selfishness? And this is why I make the difference between the correct belief of Christ and the correct worship of Christ. Because it's one thing to say we believe, it's another to live as if we believe. In the gospel, the very first thing Philip did when he saw Christ is he ran and went to his friend Nathaniel, come and see the one that Moses told us about. He was filled with so much joy that he had seen God. The only thing he could think of was to go bring his friends. We have seen God. We're going to sing a hymn after Holy Communion. We have seen the light. We, my brothers and sisters, as Orthodox Christians, have been blessed like Philip and Nathaniel to see God. What is our response? Do we run to our friends and say, Come and see the one who saved us? Or do we say, eh, this is really not for you. I remember a story many years ago. I was speaking with a young adult family. And their neighbors were looking for a church. 
And, she, and I said, well, did you invite them to our church? This didn't happen here, by the way. Well, did you invite them to church? No, 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 no. I said, your friends told you they were looking for a church. Why wouldn't you invite them here? You see, she was not being like Philip and Nathaniel. She was not wanting to share this amazing thing that we have with other people. And you see, that's our problem. We're trying to keep God to ourselves. And that, my brothers and sisters, is impossible. We have to begin living like Philip. We have seen the light. We have seen God. We have had a physical, real, life-saving experience with the creator of the universe. The time is not just now, but it has already passed for us to go and get our friends and our family members and all of those who used to come to church here and now go to church someplace else and say, come and see. Come and see the living Christ who came into the world to save us. And then Christ will say about us as he did Nathaniel, a true servant in whom there is no deceit. Because when we have the truth of God, when we live the truth of God, the procession, my brothers and sisters, of icons is not just about wood. It is about us. It is about bringing our life out into the world as a representation of Christ to share and to invite each and every citizen of our city not just the Greeks but everybody to come and see because we have seen God this is the faith of the Orthodox this is the faith that we celebrate today the Sunday of Orthodoxy not some secret that we keep to ourselves but the saving message for the entire world. Glory to God. Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org